Hey everyone, welcome back to JavaScript Advanced Tutorial. In this tutorial, we will talk about inheritance. We will understand what is the use of inheritance in JavaScript and how to use it. So, let's get started. So, what is inheritance? Inheritance is a mechanism allow us to create new classes on the basis of already existing classes. Using the inheritance, you can create child class of the parent class. Inheritance provide a flexibility to the child class to reuse methods and variables of the parent class. In JavaScript, you can use extends keyword to create the child class on the basis of parent class. Using the extend keyword, you can acquire all the properties, methods and behavior from the inbuilt object as well as the custom object. The date object is the proper example of inbuilt object. And the custom object is that which you will be creating using the class. Right? So we will just touch the basic example of inheritance. So for example, suppose you have created a class of person with a first name and last name property. After you deploy this class, you want to add age to the person. But instead of modifying the first parent class, we will create a child class which has an age property with a method which display username and age. In this example, we will create two classes, parent class and a child class. First, we will create person class and specify first name and last name property. And after that, we will create second class which is age and specify age property to this class, right? So let's consider the following example. So I will just first create a class here. So I will just say class person and in the curly braces, I will create a constructor. You already know that to initialize the class properties, we will use constructor, right? So we'll just say constructor and specify two properties here, if name comma l name right and i will just initialize these properties with the property value so i will just say this dot f name is equal to f name and this dot l name is equal to l name right so when you specify your constructor values these values pass to the property now, just after that, I just wanted to print the username on the console with their age. So I will just say class age and here I will use extend keyword to extend the parent class and then specify your parent class name. So I will just specify person here, right? Using the extend keyword, you can reuse properties and methods of the parent class. Now, just after that, I will specify curly braces. And here I will say constructor and specify one argument. So I will say age here. And just after that here in this constructor, I will call the super method, right? So I will say super parenthesis. And here to the super method, we will specify two parameters. Harry, the first name of my person and Dean, the last name of my person, right? But first, what is super method? and what the super method does. Super method is used to call the parent class constructor. Using super method, you can pass parameter to the parent class constructor and call them. We will call the parent class constructor using super method and specify values to the parameter, right? So this method will call the first parent class constructor, right? Now just after that I will create age property and specify assignment operator with my parameter variable right. I just wanted to print the person first name and last name and their age. So I will just create a method here. So I will just say show up. So this is the name of my method and in this method I will say console.log. I will just first call the first name. So I just wanted to specify this dot f name i will concatenate this value and specify some space between first name and last name and then call my last name property 
So I will just set this dot L name. Just after that, I will say console.log and specify message using the back tick. I will say your age is and here I will just print my age property. So I will say this dot age. Now you can see here we are accessing the first class properties and the second class properties in the child class. The benefit of the inheritance that you can reuse all the properties and methods in the child class, right? So here you can see we use if name and the last name using only this keyword. We don't need to create any instance of the class and anything, right? Now just after that using the child instance you can call any property and method of the parent class. This is very important. Now inheritance will help you to call all the properties and methods of the parent class using the child class instance just like this. So here I will just say constant D is equal to new age right. So here we are not creating a person class instance we are creating an age class instance here right now here i will just specify the parenthesis and specify 23 here so this is my age just after that i will call the show up method using the instance so i will say d dot show up and specify parenthesis right so when you execute this you will get your person name first name and last name and their age if you wanted to print person name on the console then you can do that using the child class instance also like this so i will just say console.log d dot f name so here you can see we are accessing the parent class property using the child class instance right this will print the first name on the console right now if you are not using inheritance and if you are just using the two separate classes without using any extend word without using any inheritance then you cannot access any properties and methods of the class without specifying its instance. That's it. I hope you understand this lecture. I have asked a question in the comment. Answering that question will help you to understand this topic more easily. That is all for now. We will see you in the next tutorial.